My name is Jarnell Stokes with the Shenzhen Tigers, Ford, and I am from the United States, Memphis, Tennessee. So when I got to like 10th, 11th grade, next thing you know, I went from not being anyone on anyone's radar in the city, state, and in the nation to being the top three ranked player in the country. And that all happened in like two, two or three months. So it was uh, just super encouraging to know that, you know, uh, the same guys who were talking trash and I would go to another team and it's like, now I'm like, everything that happened in the past got washed away. So I, I would say to like high school, middle school guys, like if you're in the current situation, you won't be with those guys for long. So everything is an experience and just having that humble, having that perspective from being at the end of the bench to a top level guy made me the humble guy I am today. A, a lot of it came from my dad. Like he was, I grew up in a military home. So it was, you know, if I didn't have my hands up on defense, uh, give me 10 push-ups at 5.30 in the morning. Like, come on, he would actually count how many times I didn't make it past half court. And I'm like, you know, 12 years old and he's like on, on me tough. So um, I would say when I finally understood his punishment and took it for love and that, okay, this isn't just a mean, cruel guy. So I took that self-initiative to go out and, and run and and uh, actually play ball and uh, just believe in myself instead of having someone else tell me to do it, that's when I start realizing, okay, uh, I'm, I'm getting better and fast. And you know, the rankings just came, but before then I was already uh, just believing that I was the best player in the gym. Even when guys would talk trash to me, it would hurt so bad because it was like, you're wrong. You know, that, that was why it was hurt. I, didn't, I never believed it. Yeah, well, I, I would go all the way back to uh, middle school and, and high school. I didn't play much. I was um, I was a bench guy. I used to wear this huge afro. Uh, my feet was my foot was always a size 20, which is like a what a size 50 in China, right? <laughs> 52. It's a 52. Yeah, 52. Wow, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy to even think about, but. Um, I mean, I was just growing up in a, a bad environment. When you're the worst player on the team, you hear it and you feel it. Like guys don't know how to fake it, especially when you're young. Like it's, it's like you, you just have to wear that on your chest and, and you have to show up every day with that in mind. And I was the type of guy where I would, you know, go home and, and cry and like, pissed at my brother for some reason because I, you know, didn't get in the game. And that, just to be honest with you, that, that killed my spirit. My entire um, childhood was dead because I wasn't a good basketball player. 